Yo. What's good, y'all, man? We got Doctor Strange 2, Link, Scarlet Witch, Kills, man, Spoils, and Multiverse of Madness, man. We getting a lot of news like we did for Spider-Man The Way Home. Got a lot of news coming, you know what I'm saying? Just every day or every other day or every whatever, you know what I'm saying, comes out type shit, man. So now we getting, now the next movie coming out is Doctor Strange, a, multi, a Multiverse of Madness, man. That's a long-ass name. Damn, I'm, I'm going to say Doctor Strange. Now, you know what? I'm gonna say Multiverse of Madness. That's a long ass name. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That's a long ass name. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> man. But um, yeah, we got we got some link information about Scarlet Witch, man. And um, and yeah, on the movie though, man. So we are gonna see um what they talking about, man. We are gonna see what the link talking about. You know, what I'm saying the title says it, but you know, say got more to it. So um, yeah, leave a like. It's on my channel, and um, yeah. Let's get it. What's going on, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. And the next upcoming MCU project is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse great. of Madness. Yeah, can't wait, man. Can't wait. Can't wait for the movie, man. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. And based off of everything that we've heard about this movie, it is going to be completely insane. In fact, the word that's been used by the cast is bonkers and with all of these rumors going That'd around about multiverse of madness if even i was say i think spider-man no way home top that shit with marvels it's right here gonna top this shit with marvels it might be a tie between them two i ain't gonna lie because y'all seeing that it's good yeah we know Ooh, it's amazing make 0.5 billion dollars yeah cool level wait till you watch this shit right here i ain't watching but i'm just saying i thought the trailer come on now wait till you watch this shit it might be a tie or it might go over us, but you know what I mean? It might be a tie, but it's going to be the same level as No Way Home. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Cap. Wait, how many superpowers, how many superheroes going to be in this movie, though? You got Scarlet Witch, that was strange. You got, but you got so many motherfuckers coming in this movie, man. Man, it's going to be crazy, no cap. It's going to be crazy, though, man. No cap. Some of them are true. It is absolutely going to be bonkers. And if you're not up to date with some of these rumors, don't worry. Today, I'll talk about them, including some new reports that there could be some major deaths coming in Multiverse of Madness. And perhaps not, mm. not deaths that you are thinking about, but deaths that you absolutely would not want to see happen could happen. So I'll break it all down. Damn. And if you love Marvel and want to stay up to date, I mean, a lot of shit, crazy shit like this, man. Swamp Tiger is gonna die. I ain't gonna lie. It's like Spider Man. Somebody with something. No, no, he ain't die. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. you know, Aunt May died. Yeah, that was only one personal. But I thought I thought Aunt May and the other girl gonna die. MJ, but apparently she got saved. You know what I mean? But Aunt May, Aunt, Aunt May died off of crazy shit. Like hit, her boar hit hit her. She just died. She just died off some crazy shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. Hit on the MCU. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So amidst all of the crazy rumors going around about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, you might have heard some by now. Rumors. That yeah, I heard some with uh, Aaron Always though, but it was just take a grain of salt. But yeah, but I heard some links though off of um, his video. Yeah. That some of the original X-Men could appear. Rumors that the Fantastic Four could appear. Rumors that we might see Iron Man again, but his variant, who could perhaps be played by Tom Cruise. Rumors that Tobey Maguire could be making another return to the MCU in books. That? Rumors that Tobey Maguire could be making another return to the Yeah, I heard that too. Tobey might a lot of people saying Tobey Maguire. Not Tobey. Oh, I thought you said Tom Holland. But yeah, like, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. But I heard that shit too. A lot, a lot of people saying Tom, you know, told me God might be in this bitch, or Andrew. But I don't believe so. But a lot of shit going on in this movie though, and you never know, man. You know what I'm saying? You never know what's going on in this shit. But a lot of shit going on. So yeah the MCU in Multiverse of Madness. And then there's a big one that the Illuminati are going to be making their debut in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, this has actually been reported on for a pretty long time now. And it's been reported on by multiple outlets, GigosityMag.com, TheIlluminerdy.com, Murphy'sMultiverse.com, and accounts like Daniel RPK and My Time to Shine Hello have also reported this as well. So this is most likely going to happen. Plus, not to mention, in the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness trailer, we do see different variants of characters. Of 
course, Doctor Strange is the big yeah. one that we saw, Supreme. widely believed yeah. to be Supreme Strange. Yeah. At this point in time, it's unclear if it's the same Supreme Strange from the What If universe. Yeah, we don't know yet, but it seems like, you know, cause it looked crazy, though, when, you know, we saw a trailer of him, you know what I'm saying, a little glimpse of him. But we don't know which, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be, like, you know, when we saw on the show, or he's going to be something different. You know, you see, like, twist shit around, so we see, though, man, we see universe or if it's a live action version but needless to say like he says things just got out of hand and although we are seemingly going to be welcoming the illuminati in the mcu we should not expect them to stay long because according to a report from my time to shine hello today we should not expect the illuminati to survive dr strange damn just like that damn in the multiverse Jeez. We're still 24 hours away from the national title game. For some madness. Now this might make a lot of people mad because they don't expect them night them nine to stay survive. So what they mean they gonna all die and shit? Question mark. As I'm going to explain what exactly I've heard, and I don't think you're gonna like it. However, there is a silver lining to it, so stick with me. I have mm -hmm. heard rumors about who is going to be in the Illuminati, and I have heard that the Scarlet Witch is going to kill them. You might have heard the- I heard the Scarlet Witch supposed to be evil in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But the trailer deceives her like she was like a nice motherfucker, but, you know, but Razzy, she, she, you know what I'm saying? She, she still that, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I mean? That crazy motherfucker from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that show. But, yeah these rumors too the biggest one being charles xavier you see the illuminati isn't exactly yeah. going to be from our universe they're going to be sort of a multi oh uh, yeah of course universal illuminati at this point in time since they're all rumors we're not exactly sure if they're all going to come from separate universes or the whole entire group will just simply come from one other universe but right now what is clear is this illuminati is not from our universe if you are unaware of who the illuminati is in marvel comics it is basically a team that consists of the leaders of each superhero group that get together and basically help protect Earth. In the comics, we have Charles Xavier representing the X-Men, Mr. Fantastic representing the Fantastic Four, Tony Stark representing the Avengers, Black Bolt representing the Inhumans, Namor the Submariner representing the Atlanteans, and Doctor Strange representing, well, essentially himself. After all, it is his job to protect reality, as he says in Avengers Infinity War. And yeah, right now, yeah, we're yeah. unsure if this is going to be the exact Illuminati lineup in Multiverse of Madness, but we do know that Doctor Strange most likely is going to encounter Professor X, and he's most likely going to encounter him at the hands of Mordo. We know that Mordo, after the first Doctor Strange, went off and believed that there are too many sorcerers and kind of started to take them out. And now Doctor Strange has affected the multiverse in a lot of different ways. And right now the rumor is that somebody will take Doctor Strange to the Illuminati, sort of like a prisoner. And from there, he'll kind of face a little bit of a trial, and he'll have to explain himself. But here's where things might go wrong. He's gonna be with the Scarlet Witch, and Wanda is now more powerful than ever. Not only- Yeah, from that show, yo, she, boy, don't, hey, don't take her off, boy. She gonna kill you in, in, in one second. <laughs> one second, you dead. No cap mess with her ass, because she is too powerful. Okay. As she tapped into her true Scarlet Witch abilities and has realized that she has been born with this magic the entire time, but we can assume. Yeah, she was, because they showed her when she was little and she been had that power. I mean, that's why she, um, that's why her and her brother survived because somehow she was a power. It's just, you feel me? Everybody else died because they had no powers. But she had, so she had a power since she was like a little ass girl. But she didn't know that to, like, to um the other girl show her and shit assume by now that she's read the entire dark hold so she knows some very very dark yeah, read a, yeah, magic read but that that's book. not all she's also looking for her kids and we know america chavez is going to be in this film and she has the ability to go between different universes using her star portals so we can assume that wanda is going to use america chavez to go through different dimensions and look for her kids and the illuminati might have a problem with this because she's going to go around affecting other universes and the threat of this is essentially what they explained in loki the 
multiverse could get out of hand, there could be a multiverse of war, and all of the multiverses could essentially implode. So they're most likely going to have a problem with her as well. The only issue is they're not going to be strong enough to stop her. And again, according to the account My Time to Shine Hello, we shouldn't expect them to survive Multiverse of Madness, which means Wanda most likely comes into conflict with them and kills them. Remember, Wanda is supposed to be somewhat of a villain in this movie. And if you're confused about this, let me explain because there's kind of two reasons. One is that she's looking for her kids and she'll do anything to find them. And that's pretty simple. If anyone yeah, yeah, gets yeah. in her way, she'll simply remove them. But Should two, that. it's a little bit more of a scarier reason. You see, the Darkhold is a book created by an ancient elder demon god, Cthulhu. And even though this is the MCU and not the comics, they have a deep relationship in the comics. Cthulhu and Wanda, that is. Essentially, Wanda was supposed to be a vessel for Cthulhu to return to the Earth dimension. And we could kind of see something very similar to that in the MCU. Wanda could start to maybe get possessed by Cthulhu, which could lead her to become essentially evil and perhaps the host for a demon. Because remember, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was supposed to be the very first horror film in the MCU. And even though they changed directors from... Yeah, they, yeah I heard Scott that Derrick. like back then it supposed to be like a, like a horror film. I mean, but it still kind of is... But it did, yeah, but I already changed the right or so. But it still kind of is, because it's all the trailer. It still got that, that, um, what I'm trying to say, that flow, that horror flow. You know what I mean? But it's not really, but it's kind of like, kind of like it, because it, you know, color how the, how the water, they flooded the, um, the, um, you know, his place and shit. But yeah, you know, a little flow. Erickson, Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi is still a horror film director. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, but cause, yeah, so, so we saw that shit. You know, strange. we saw a little bit of horror. Not horror, but we saw, you know what I'm saying? It looked kind of gloomy and shit. You know, me and the trailer. The teaser trailer. So, yeah. And as far as we know, there's still going to be... As the U.S. Crocs ambassador, it is my duty to wear Crocs wherever I go. I'm wearing one right now horror components of this movie as we saw from the trailer it is pretty dark but I that's what i'm saying a little dark gloomy so it, it kind of give it give it that horror horror feel i, I don't lie. think we've seen half of it yet but i do think that they are going to add somewhat of a demon aspect to the movie perhaps possessing wanda and unfortunately what we've heard in the rumor mill is that professor x is going to go up against wanda and wanda will kill him now, if you recall, over a year ago, maybe even close to two years now, Patrick Stewart did admit in an interview that he met with Kevin Feige, and they talked about Patrick Stewart returning as Professor Xavier. Now, Patrick said that he wasn't going to return, but Andrew Garfield also said that he wasn't the werewolf and he wasn't in No Way Home, so there you go. It looks like Patrick Stewart could be returning, but only for one film, and it looks like he's going to die in Multiverse of Madness. And like I said, this might piss a lot of people off. I, for one, yeah. don't want to see him die. We technically already did see him die one time, but he came back for a lot of other films. But we also have to realize that this could simply be a different variant of Professor Xavier, and not the exact same one from the X-Men universe that we saw. But either way, it does look like Professor Xavier and perhaps Mr. Fantastic, a variant of Iron Man, and perhaps other heroes could go up against the Scarlet Witch and die. And from what it sounds like, that's exactly what's going Going to happen again she is more powerful than ever and probably the most powerful being in the entire multiverse at this point point. and yep. if you add the fact that she could be possessed by a demon god and she'll do anything to find her kids well there's probably no stopping her which is probably why they're saying that the illuminati is not going to survive multiverse of madness so i would be prepared to possibly see professor xavier die maybe even see iron man dying again even though it would probably be a variant and not robert downey jr and other members of the illuminati as well now the cool thing about this is that we still got our own x-men in the mcu we still get our own fantastic four in the mcu it's not like they're kind of introducing them and then taking them away these are different universal teams they're not officially ours so while it's exciting that there are indeed going to be x-men in the mcu if they bring professor yeah, xavier yeah, yeah. in they're not really our x-men but I would be prepared for some absolutely crazy things to happen in this movie. But based off of everything I've just told you, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. But um, yeah though man, hey, looking crazy man, the movie's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't watched it yet, but I just know it because it's multiverse of madness. You know what I'm saying? This is the next movie coming up in May, May, right? May, yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to find out. We're going to get some news like this. Over time, man, you know what I'm saying? When we get closer and closer. You know what I'm saying? Once I get in the trailers, then, then the then the TV spots, and then all that other shit, and then we'll get the movie. God damn. <laughs> but, um, but nah, when the, man, ma, ma, when the madness of multiverse, multiverse of madness come out, man, that's the longest name. When they come out, man, it's gonna be packed as hell, because it's gonna be kind of like Spider-Man, so, well, all this multiverse of madness type shit. But, um, yeah, give a like, this is my channel. Keep subbing, and, um, keep liking, and, um, yeah. Peace.